Any questions? Senator Davis? Rabbi, my first question is, is to you. I received something from the Anti-Defamation League with regard to their position on uh, vouchers, scholarships, and I want to read a part of that to you and, and hear your perspective. In part, it reads, proponents of vouchers are asking Americans to do something contrary to the very ideals upon which this country was founded. Thomas Jefferson, one of the architects of religious freedom in America, said, to compel a man to furnish contributions of money for the propagation of opinions which he disbelieves is sinful and tyrannical. Yet voucher programs would do just that. They would force citizens, Christians, Jews, Muslims, and atheists, to pay for the religious indoctrination of school children at schools with narrow parochial agendas. In many areas, 80% of vouchers would be used in schools whose central mission is religious training. In most such schools, religion permeates the classroom, the lunchroom, even the football practice field. Channeling public money to these institutions flies in the face of the constitutional mandate of separation of church and state. As I'm sure Senator Davis, you know, the Jewish community is not monolithic, and there are always been, perhaps our history is best described by discussion and debate, and there are views within the Jewish community. I don't know that it is the ADL that decides what is constitutional. I believe it's the uh, Supreme Court, which has on similar types of things approved them and said that it is not an issue of separation of church and state. And Senator Davis, if I can just clarify, yeah. students are not going to be forced to go to any particular school when a student, again, at risk, in poverty, applies for a scholarship. They can choose the school that that they wish to attend, and the nonprofit will help guide them to that school. I, I absolutely understand that. I think the concern um, is that a taxpayer who provides their resources to the state of Texas would ultimately be paying for a child to attend a school whose religious values they disagree with. And that, that's where the concern that's, of the... I understand, but that's misrepresenting the legislation. The legislation oh, no, is a tax sure. credit. It is not public education dollars. It's a tax credit that an individual business or businesses right. give to a student. That and would have otherwise been paid in their margins tax, which would have otherwise gone to the public school system. It's not public money coming out of public education, uh, no matter how many times you say it. And secondly, th th there may be some poor students. And it's not not, right. no matter and, how many times and, you say and it. And there may be some poor parents, by the way, who want their children to go to a oh, school of a particular. I understand that. I mean, there are poor, there are it, poor it's, Jews it's and not, poor Catholics and poor Christians. It's not the parent's choice or the child's choice um, in terms of the parochial institution that they would choose to attend that is of concern mm -hmm. to me. Uh, what is of concern to me is that we are opening the door for taxpayer resources to be used for what would be, um, in some instances, antithetical to that taxpayer's perspective and point of view. For